To make my vlog, I've come to Newark in Nottinghamshire, where I've enlisted the help of tech video journalist Alex Brooks, also known as Mars Bar. Hello and welcome back to another one of my videos. He reviews the latest tech and gadgets. By the way, I'm not being paid for any of this. Uploading the videos to his TechFlow YouTube channel, which has nearly 400,000 subscribers. I'll see you in uh, in another video very, very shortly, guys. How long have you been doing this, sir? Uh, I've been making videos online for the best part of four or five years. What sort of kit do you use? Uh, a mirrorless camera, and the reason I use a mirrorless camera is because I can use the same camera but achieve lots of different types of shot by the lens that I put on it. So I've got loads of different lenses here. This one is a super wide lens. And then obviously, if you don't have great audio quality, people aren't going to stick around. So up here, you can see I've got a Shure lens hopper microphone, but I've got some other ones from Rode here, which are also really, really good to make sure the audio is sounding really crispy. I've done an occasional YouTube video myself over the summer, which I really enjoyed it. No, obviously, nothing at like this, anything at the scale that you do, but I'm sort of quite anxious to uh, pick up a few tips. I've also got some equipment to test. Oh, lovely. Which uh, I hope you can help me with. Yes, sure. Should we Brilliant. Go look? Yes, follow me. For some reason, the producers have banned me from talking about cars in my vlog, so instead, I'm focusing on planes. And they've got a superb collection for me to choose from here at the Newark Air Museum. Because amongst all these wonderful exhibits, there's one I particularly want to look at, which is called the Sepacat Jaguar. And the first bit of tech I want to show Alex is a camera. Sony have recently released this ZV-1, which they've aimed specifically at YouTubers and vloggers. It has lots of features which supposedly make vlogging easier. It's got... Uh, they paid a lot of attention to sound. It's got a three-capsule microphone with a windshield in the box. It's got a wide-angle lens. It's got the vital articulated touchscreen. It also has an optional grip, which doubles up as a tripod, so it's easy for Alex to stay in control while recording my introduction. And I've come to the Newark Air Museum, which actually has a wonderful range of exhibits. There's a buccaneer there, there's a, a Vulcan. And it's doing a great job of picking up some extra shots of me lapping up the rich aeronautical heritage. Uh, I'm zooming in now. We're getting quite a good shot of the nose. The thing I really like about this tripod grip is that it's actually articulating, so if you're getting a low shot like we are now, you can ah. get the camera nice and low to the ground. Next up, I want to test the ZV-1's built-in stabilisation with a bit of a walk and talk. There indeed is a Jaguar at the end. Um, I'll take a closer look. You know what, considering we were walking down there at a pretty yeah. fast pace, it kept up pretty nicely. There was no shaking. The footage looked really smooth, actually. I'm mean, quite impressed. So far, so good. Now I want to experience what it's like to sit in a Sepacat cockpit. Well, this is what remains of XX753, ground attack fighter. And we can go inside this one. And because cockpits can be cramped, I've brought along a few accessories. One is this Gorillapod mobile vlogging kit, a flexible tripod which provides support for multiple devices. And I've got this Loom Cube light. The Loom Cube is a credit card-sized, battery-powered LED light. You can adjust both the colour temperature and the brightness, so you can tweak the lighting to match a variety of different environments. I think I've got my Loom Cube a bit bright and possibly a bit too warm. Yes, I mean, the, it does look quite warm projecting the light on your face. What you can do is use a switch on the side of it to change the colour temperature. You want to try and match it to the light that's coming in through the skylight, so then we get an even light throughout the shot. 55. Oh, that automatically looks lots better. Right. The Gorillapod's bendy legs mean I can mount my camera and light securely, allowing me to record my first impressions of the Sepacat's cockpit and its exhaustive array of controls. Well, this is glorious. It's all very analog in here. Fortunately, it comes with this very handy uh, crib sheet for what everything is. Altimeter, fuel jettison function, ooh, brake parachute. Every single switch is just packed with excitement. If you don't want to invest in a dedicated camera for your vlogs, then your smartphone's the next best option. The sound can be a bit hit and miss, though. So today I'm going to test a nifty little microphone add-on. What you've got there is the Shure MV88 Plus, which is a microphone that fits onto phones either through USB-C or through a lightning port and should enhance the phone's audio capabilities. What's great about visiting here, though, is the sheer range of aircraft available. It's not just planes, it's also helicopters, too. I particularly like this magnificent 1971 Westland Puma H. C1. Audio recorded. Let's give it a listen. It really has focused on my voice. Can't hear the cars in the background either. No wind noise. 
I think that's a take for the show. Now it's time to head back to Alex's studio to start editing, and I'm using an app called Magisto. What it does is uses artificial intelligence, analyzes all your shots, puts them in the right order. So this sounds absolutely crazy. You simply select the clips you want to include, choose some music and an attention-grabbing theme, then its makers claim that AI will review all your footage, edit it in a sensible order, and deliver a final polished video. Ooh, it looks like it's ready. Let's have a look. And there's the Jaguar, it's the two-seater trainer. But watching it back, it seems to be cutting off my chats to camera at inopportune moments. <laughs> <laughs> while losing the right bits and putting the wrong bits in instead. John, I think this would be a really good place to actually end the vlog if you wanted to give it a go here with this microphone. I think it needs a bit more intelligence. I think if it didn't cut your voice off halfway through, I'd give it a bit more kudos. So yes. definitely room for improvement. I think I got that right. Nevertheless, we press on. I need to finish my vlog and get it properly packaged and presented. And to do this, I'm using the Blackmagic ATEM Mini Pro ISO. This little gadget is a mini vision mixer, which also allows you to broadcast live to the web, though we're not doing that today. It gives you the power of the sort of vision mixers you used to need to find in professional TV studios a few years back. It looks very inviting, that. I want to have a go with it. Do! Absolutely. You can use it to cut between different camera feeds. It's got four HDMI inputs which you can hook up to uh, cameras or indeed to uh, play in video. So if you want to change the camera angle just by the tap of one of these buttons, you can do that. Absolutely. Sounds awesome. You can even record each individual feed, so you can go back and re-edit your footage if you make a mistake. Well, I'm glad you like it, because I'm going to ask you to vision mix my vlog. Oh, OK, that sounds very interesting. Every good vlog needs a top and tail. I've got the Sony camera we were vlogging with earlier. That's focused on you. So I think we're ready. Lights, camera, action. Hello, my name's John Bentley. You may know me as the longest-serving, best-looking and most popular presenter on The Gadget Show. Welcome to my vlog. Now, assisting me is the immensely experienced Alex. Do say hello to everybody. Hello, guys. We're mixing this right now live on the ATEM Mini Pro ISO. It's pretty cool. You can switch between all these camera angles. Right. Let's roll VT. Well, John, what can I say? You're a natural vlogger. Oh, and really you. interesting to see that Sony have now released a camera that's purely aimed at the vlogging market. Yes, good, if slightly belatedly. But uh, the focusing was particularly good when you've got it set to focus on your face and you hold a product up in front of you. If it's in a sort of product demonstration mode, it automatically shifts focus onto what you're holding, take it away, brings focus back onto your face. Well, thank you very much, John.